variations. What are they? Well, think of them as different ways to interpret the node order. Each node order, whether it's up or down or up and down, inside out, random, etc., has four different variations. And depending on how many notes you're holding down and which note order you select, the variations can be surprising. Let's take a look. I've got two regions up here, and they each contain a different type of chord. The first one is a triad, right? Three notes, G major triad. The one to the right is a cluster, five notes. Now, the reason I have a three note chord and a five note chord or cluster is that I want to explain and try to show you the behavioral differences of the variations depending on the type of note order and chord type you choose. Okay, here's a simple triad and variation number one begins on the root. Variation two begins on the third when you have a triad. Right? Not the root. Listen. Variation number three begins on the fifth. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Variation number one, variation two, and variation three. And then there's variation number four. This baby is really complex. And the best way to explain it is, well, to not explain it at all. I'm just going to play it for you. And I suggest you play with it, too. You can see how it changes depending on how many notes I'm holding down. Now, quite frankly, all of the variations except variation one are quite complex. And they depend on how many steps there are. It divides them into different groups. And I really mean it when I say the best way to learn the more complex variations is to experiment. The variations for the down note order is very similar to the up note order. So once you learn that one, you've got the down, down. Now the up and down and the inside out variations each have their own unique way of ordering notes. So I highly suggest that you dig in and experiment with those too. For now, let's move on to a non-traditional note grouping and listen to the variations of this five note cluster. Next, we're going to take a look at the random note order and its variations. And you might be wondering how something that is random could have variations. I mean, random is random, right? Well, no, not in this case. There are many different levels of randomness. As you know, the first variation is just purely random. There's no pattern to the note selection. However, the second variation is quite different. It picks out the original notes or pattern in a random order without playing any note twice, but then keeps that order and repeats it. Now, the third variation is really cool because it actually weights the lower notes. It makes them more important, so you hear them randomly, but you hear them more often. This is musically very useful. And to the contrary, variation number four gives weight to the higher notes. These are two very cool algorithms which are very useful to 
control randomness. It's nice to have randomness, but it's also great to be able to manipulate randomness in musical ways. Wait till you hear how variations interact with octave range. That's coming up next. <laughs> 